yeah welcome to impressive creative channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a full body pleated turban cap with honeycomb design thanks for watching this video if you are not subscribed please subscribe to this interesting channel the materials needed for today's tutorial are any stretching material scissors table office pin needle and matching thread for the body pleated turban the length is 52 inches and then the width is 32 so here i have 52 by 32 inches and the first thing i did i folded it one inch i didn't sew it just fold and you see the pins i just folded it to so attach the band so this is one inch i folded and the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to form another split now the next thing is to form a plate raise it up about one inch or one one quarter inches you know the normal one is for us to measure 1.5 1.5 1.5 and then we start forming our splits but this one is a rough one is an irregular one you just be picking it so this is the first one i'm going to pick another one it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't have to be straight Can you see the same height? Can you see the second one? The second one. I've already done one, two. I want to do the third split for the third one. So I continue one. Two and then three. I'll pick here middle and I'll pick here too until I finish the material. I've done another three, so we have one, two, three, four. Five, six. So three here, three here. So I'm going to do another. Play. This is it. This is a stretchy soft material. The width should be 15 inches or more. 15, 16, 18. This is stretchy. So it can be 15, can be 16, can be 17 inches. The first thing is to remove the paint. This is the third row. I want to join the first row and the second row. Can you see? The first, the second row. I want to join these two. So I'll start from underneath. Underneath. Pull. With a matching thread. Can you see the two rows? I will tack across. Now I will go down, go down, can we see, I'm going, the needle down, I will tack. I will go down, the needle going down, the same spot, pull, I will tack from the back, can we see. Now we pick the third and the fourth row and we tack the first and the second, the same, the third and the fourth. Can we see? I will pick the first row, the second row together, I will tack, I will tack the third and the fourth again. Can we see? 
one, two, and then three, four again. Now I'll start all over again. This one, the first row and the second row, the third and the fourth row. These are the middle, second and third row. Now this one, the first, the second, at this place, the third and the fourth. Now the middle one, it will be the second and the third row. Do you understand? First, second, third, fourth. Middle will be second and third, just like this one. So this one we have the second and the third row. Now I'll start all over again. This one, the first row and the second row, the third and the fourth row. These are the middle, second and third row. Now this one, the first, the second, at this place, the third and the fourth. Now the middle one, it will be the second and the third row. Do you understand? First, second, third, fourth. Middle will be second and third, just like this one. So this one we have the second and the third row. Now I've done the first four rows, one and two, three and four. We go to five and six. So I will tack this two. This I will tack it. Now the midpoint of this is two and three. The midpoint of this will be four and five. So I will tack this place. I will tack here. I will tack here. Can you see? I will tack here again, and then I move on to this place. Four and five again. I will continue like that. So I will tack one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the midpoint will be four and five. I've tacked up to the sixth row. I've used pins. Can you say pins all over to get the shapes? So it's better to use pins before tacking so that you can get the shape. So you know where you are making the mistake. So all these are pins. I will now start my tacking from this point now. Can you see? So that you can get the shapes. The length is 21 inches now. I had to reduce the width. To 23 inches it is a stretchy material for not stretchy material you can start with 30 to 32 inches but this is a stretchy material so i'm using 23 inches i reduce it to 23 inches so now i want to form the v-shape the length of the band is 19 inches by four and a half i want to form a v-shape i'm going to bend this i'm bending this and this, I'm going to use this black side. This is the front, but I'm going to use this side. And then I'm combining it like this. Can we see? I'm going to find the midpoint. This is the midpoint. There is a pin here. This is the midpoint. And then this is the right side. I'm turning it. This is the back. So the midpoint. Can we see? I'm going to use a pin. I'm going to sew straight down. I will sew from here down to this edge and then curve like this. 